What's up guys, Mitchell Watts with Town & Country TV and today I'm joined by Emily. Hello. She is our social media director. She is the lady behind the scenes that is pulling all the strings for our YouTube channel, our social medias, and things like that. And what we're gonna do in today's video is we've got some Q&A, some frequently asked questions about the new 2022 Bronco, and that is what we're gonna cover in this video. Before we jump into the video though, I do wanna remind you, we are giving away a four-door Bronco, and we're gonna customize it before we give it to you. Now, we're going to launch that giveaway the day that we hit 300,000 subscribers on YouTube. So stop what you're doing right now, hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification. Yeah, do what she's doing. Do it like this. <laughs> and make sure you are subscribed because the day that we hit that 300,000 subscribers, we are going to launch that giveaway. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and do that. Now, with that being said, uh, I'm not exactly sure what each of these questions are, uh, but our salespeople that are receiving, so we've got a lot of Broncos on order and our salespeople see a lot of different questions. So what I told them to do is come up with some of the most frequent and best questions that they've gotten from you guys, the customers. Uh, and so with that being said, um, uh, Emily, if you don't mind, read the questions and I'll just kind of answer them live, if you will. Okay. So what, what's the first question? Well, we'll start with the big burning question of 2021. You can probably guess it. How long do I have to wait until my Bronco comes in? Heaven only knows. <laughs> Well, this is not a great start to the video, is it? Okay, so no, seriously, guys, there there's a quite a few different things that are factoring in how long it takes to get your Bronco. Uh, the most important thing is going to be the commodities. Uh, so a commodity is nothing but a fancy word of saying, does Ford have every part necessary to complete a specific build? And the, the more options you leave off on your build, the significantly faster they can build it. Uh, case in point, like if you do a, uh, a big bend model, four door with a soft top, and no options, that dude will get scheduled for, for production very, very quickly. If you're saying, hey, I've got a hard top, I've got a two door, I've got Sasquatch, I've got all this other kind of stuff, um, those can significantly increase the speed to the delivery. Uh, and it also happens to do with your time, reservation timestamp. So if you're a day one reservation holder, um, then obviously your Bronco is going to get built a lot quicker. Uh, but if you are looking for a dealership that can help you through this process, um, whether you've got an order already or you, you know you want to place a brand new order for a Bronco, make sure to hit us up. That phone number is right there on the screen. It's 205-491-0000. Uh, but it just depends. And the main thing is, is going to be the commodities. Oh, also, I forgot to mention to you, your dealer's allocation. How many Broncos are they getting? So how many Broncos are they getting? What are the commodities? And uh, your reservation time stamp. And it's pretty much in that order as well. Good question. Question. All right, what you got next? When will the accessories for the Bronco be available for purchase? Most of the accessories are actually available right now. So um, the biggest thing that we had an issue with was the uh, front winch bumper. So now this is a base model. So this is not, this does not have the heavy duty modular front bumper. But if you had the heavy duty modular front bumper, you could actually upgrade and get a winch that is mounted to the front. That specific winch was on a little bit of a delay, but I think they are now shipping them. Uh, most of the Ford accessories are currently available. I know that Zone Off-Road, we've got lift kits for those um, Broncos, we've got leveling kits. A lot of that stuff is on TC Customs. I know BDS is working on a couple of lift kits as well as Fabtech and a lot of different suspension components. Uh, suspension companies are making a lot of different um, options. Uh, it just depends on which one and when they come out, but a lot of accessories are available right now. All right, here's a two in one. What are the best size tires and what size lift can I get on my Bronco? The best size tires are the biggest ones you can fit on there. <laughs> If you can fit 40 somehow, figure it out. Uh, so I know that's like a redneck answer. Um, but you know what we see the most of, if, if we want to go that way, uh, the most the, the, the most frequent tire we've seen is doing the zone off-road lift kit, and which is a two inch lift kit and 35 inch tires. That is the most popular we've seen. I am of the opinion though, the bigger the better, and there is really no limit to that. So, uh, but the most popular would be the two inch lift kit and the 35s. Now, what, there was a second part of that question. What was it again? Did I, I answer? about the lift. Okay, so yeah, there you go. I guess I answered the, the second question uh, at the same time, didn't even realize it. But yeah, the two inch zone off-road lift kit right now happens to be by far our biggest seller. So uh, I have a feeling the second those BDS lift kits drop, that'll quickly change. We're gonna move into 2022 model year questions. Okay. Um, is there going to be a new trim level added to the 2022 model year Bronco? 
Yes, most of you guys have seen it teased. Ford has teased it. Uh, the new Raptor Bronco uh, is, uh, Ford is calling it their performance variant, uh, the performance variant of the Bronco. Uh, that is going to be available, I think they said in the summer of 2022, um, but uh, there's not really many details out there as far as is reserving that, that Raptor version of the Bronco. But they have told us that there are going to be significantly fewer Bronco Raptors then there will be customers that want it. So just like you have the normal F-150 and an F-150 Raptor, the Raptor is built in extremely low quantities. Um, the, the, the demand far su supersedes the, the supply that Ford can build. The Bronco Raptor is gonna be the exact same way. So um, for most people watching this video that has a Bronco that's hoping to get a Raptor version of it, you can pretty much forget it. It's, it you're just not gonna be able to get enough of them unless you're just willing to pay out the wazoo for them it's just it's a it, they're not going to be able to i mean they, they haven't a hard enough time building the normal bronco versus you know the much less a raptor version so that came out a lot more harsh than i wanted it to but i, I understand there's there's legitimate reasons why there's been supply demand issues microchips parts hard tops all that kind of stuff but the raptor version is going to take it into the stratosphere so good question Let's move into color. So since my order is going to be a 2022, can I make a change to my color? Yes, you can make a change to your color. So on the 2022 models, the way that Ford's doing this, if you already have a 21 on order and you're going to be pushed out to a 2022, all of those orders in Webdo, which is web-based dealer ordering system, it's the Ford ordering system that your dealer is gonna be using, all of those 21 model orders are gonna get flipped over to a 2022. All of those orders are gonna be flipped to a priority code 99, which means it will not be built, will not be scheduled. And what your dealer has to do is go in and modify the options, select the options that you want, and then once all of that is taken care of, they can submit it and change the priority code to a 19 model, which means that they actually, or a, not, not a 19 model, but a 19 priority code. So that way Ford will actually build that specific, uh, that, that specific Bronco. So just something to keep in mind that yes, not only will you have the opportunity, but you'll have to. Uh, even if you wanna keep everything the same, your dealer still has to convert that priority code from a 99 to a 19 and basically resubmit the order. Okay. Great, great question. So tell us about the new colors and then what's being discontinued. Okay, so I will tell you the spiel just like Ford Motor Company told us. Uh, so we have listened to customer demand and we have added two new colors to the lineup and that is gonna be hot pepper red and it is going to be the new emerald green. I think that's the name of the color but it's the new green that you can see right there on the screen. Unfortunately, Ford does have uh, some limitations in the production facility. They can only have so many different paint lines uh, that a vehicle can run down. So they had to get rid of two colors and that is going to be the rapid red and the antimatter blue. So if you wanted one of those two colors and you didn't get a 21 scheduled for production email already, I hate to break the, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you're not getting rapid red or antimatter blue unless you find one used and, you know, but no, it's, they, they did away with those two colors, unfortunately. Since my reservation is now a 2022, can I switch my dealership? That is a great question that I don't fully know the answer to, um, in full disclosure. Uh, from what, what I've heard, the word on the street is, is Ford it will consider the changing of a dealership from one to the other, but they're looking at it on a case-by-case -case basis. Um, so if you are not, like, like for instance, let's say you're one of those customers that I just, I feel so bad for you, but you signed up with a dealership that was saying, hey, we're going to sell them all at MSRP. And then all of a sudden a, a microchip shortage happened. And then when the vehicle shows up and, you know, they're now charging 20 and 30 grand over a sticker price, they're basically lying to their customers and changing the price at the last minute. Um, if you're one of those poor customers that is seeing that trend at your specific dealership, and you present that to Ford, they might listen to that case. Now, if your case is, well, I just want it faster and I think I can get it done at Town & Country because Town & Country is a bigger dealer and we get more allocations and we, we're getting a ton of allocations. Um, if that is the reason, they may not, that may not be good enough. I, I, um, but word on the street is, is they are going to consider a dealer swap, a dealer change, but they're doing it on a case by case situation. Do I need to resend my sales consultant a new build and price now that my Bronco will be a 2022? 
That's a great question, and I can't speak for every dealership across the United States, but I can tell you uh, behind the scenes look at what our process looks like. So um, the order bank opens up. See, we're actually filming this on Tuesday, the 12th of October. Uh, on the 13th is when the ordering bank opens up for the new 2022. And what we're asking each one of our customers to do is to go to Ford.com, go to the build-in price, spec the vehicle exactly as you want it, take the link, and send it to your salesperson. That salesperson will forward it to me or my business partner, Kyle. We will take that order, submit it into Webdo, uh, which is the web-based dealer ordering system. And then once we've got all of that taken care of, we send the customer a DocuSign that covers the pricing, that covers the options, and make sure that everybody's on the same page. And that way this customer will sign off on the DocuSign and then there, there you go. So that is a long way of saying yes, it, now that if your order is a 2022, if you are at our dealership, we ask that you send us a new build and price starting tomorrow. And then we're going to be going through these customers and the reservation timestamps. So basically the customers have been waiting the longest will uh, be the first ones that we start modifying and sending DocuSigns to. Now, because we have so many orders, uh, if you are one of our customers, if we don't get to you on day one, don't fret, don't worry. That's not going to cause any delays. We've got until October 28th, I believe it is, to actually have all of those orders submitted. Um, so if we don't get to you right away, that's just because we have so many Broncos on order and just be patient with us and we'll get to you as soon as possible. But what you can do is go get that new building price, send that link to your salesperson, and then that'll get you put in line for getting the order swapped over. But once again, everything is based off the reservation timestamp, not when you submit your order. So no, no, freaking, out, no freaking out there. All right, good question. Are we still offering to sell Broncos at MSRP? We're selling them all at 100 grand over. No, <laughs> no I'm, I'm being sarcastic. No, that's a uh, yes. We're selling all Broncos at MSRP. No questions asked. We said that from day one on July 13th, 2020, up until today. Um, and you can ask all of the different customers. We'll put just a few pictures of happy customers that we've sold on the screen. Um, every single one of them have been ecstatic because we're apparently one of the weird dealerships that actually did what the crap we said we were going to do, which is sell you the vehicle at MSRP. I just, I'm still frustrated and still salty about dealerships changing the price on a customer. After you say something, you better dadgum do it. And yes, we are still honoring all Bronco reservations um, at MSRP. So, uh, in Bronco orders, that is. Can I roll my TC Customs accessories into the financing of the vehicle? This sounds like an ad, doesn't it? <laughs> Absolutely you can. So the, the cool thing about rolling custom work into a vehicle at the time of purchase, it actually saves you a lot of money. And let me tell you why. Um, one, we price match. So you're not going to pay any more here than that small hole in the wall shop uh, anywhere else. So uh, a lot of people think, well, if I'm buying it from a dealership, I'm paying too much for it. We price match. No worries. Um, in addition to that, if you ever thought about it, like in the state of Alabama, if you buy something at the grocery store, if you buy something out of the parts department, or if you buy something from anywhere, you pay a sales tax on that purchase. And in Alabama, it's 10%. Well, our local sales tax rate, like let's say if you live in Alabama and you buy the vehicle from us, your tax rate on the purchase is 3.75% for our dealership. So think about that, guys. That's what six and a quarter, or six, I can't do math on top of my head that fast, but you're saving over 6% in sales tax. So if you're doing you know, a $10,000 build or a $20,000 build, that tax savings actually adds up pretty, pretty quickly. So one, you get a tax benefit by rolling it into the, the purchase price of the vehicle. In addition to that, you also are getting to roll it into the, the low payment. So if you've got a nice low interest rate, you don't have to come up with 10,000 cash to have your vehicle customized. You can actually roll it into the financing if that's something that you want to do. Good question. Okay, we have a few questions about tops. So another big burning question. When will the hard top problem be fixed? <laughs> uh, I am not Ford. We are a Ford dealership. Um, so I don't have the insider information. A lot of this that I've mentioned and going to mention is speculation. Um, but technically the hard top issue is fixed. They're already rolling out the corrected hard tops. Uh, let's call it hard top 2.0. Um, they have already started rolling out that process. Now they're wor working on getting all of the, the Broncos that had hardtop 1.0 
they're getting those swapped over to 2.0s right now. So technically, the, it's fixed right now. They are working through getting the ramp up of the production, meaning that they know what the, the issue was. They've resolved that issue. Now they are working on getting the customers that had issues, with their, getting their, their hard drops swapped out. Uh, that will take some time. Um, I don't know an exact time because, once again, I'm not Ford Motor Company. Uh, but if you already have a Bronco on order that's already been built that has hardtop 1.0, you should have already gotten an email that gives you a rough estimate on exactly when your specific hardtop will get swapped out. Can I add a hardtop later even though I ordered a soft top? Great question. Absolutely, you can. So uh, if you've got a Bronco with the, the hardtop prep kit. So basically all orders that were built after a specific date uh, or scheduled for a specific date. I think it was sometime in September. Please don't hold me to that because I can't remember specifically. But on the window sticker, it will actually say if the vehicle has a hard top prep kit. All that is, is the plumbing and the wiring for the rear windshield wiper and the rear heating element. And so if your Bronco has that, you can absolutely retrofit a normal Ford hardtop later down life's highway. Now, the word on the street is those, those hardtops are going to be available for purchase, not the warranty, not the swapping out, but the actual purchase of a hardtop uh, can happen sometime in 2023. Uh, you didn't ask this question, but I'm going to go ahead and answer it anyways. And that is, what will a hardtop cost in the parts department? Ford is not ready to unveil that yet. They were not... Uh, uh, they do know that it will be more expensive because you have the, the motorcycle getting on it. <laughs> Don't know if you could hear that or not, but getting after it, going fast in Bessemer. But the, the, um, the hard tops themselves will be more expensive out of the parts department than they would be on the vehicle. And one of the biggest reasons is just simply freight. Getting that hard top from Michigan to Alabama or California or wherever your parts department is, it costs money to have those things shipped across the United States. So um, just keep in mind that if you're waiting on buying one out of the parts department, it's not going to be the normal $695. Now, the other thing that I'm interested in seeing is what is going to happen at SEMA show. So for those of you guys that don't know, SEMA Specialty Equipment Market Association, that's the world's biggest, I say world's biggest. I guess it is the world's biggest trade show for aftermarket parts on vehicles. Um, we're planning on going to that, and uh, if any of you guys are there, make sure to stop, say hello, and wave at us. But there, I have a strong feeling that there's going to be a lot of hardtops that are going to be announced in the aftermarket side that might help you in case you've got a soft top like this one does. Can you tow your Bronco behind a motorhome or camper? Absolutely. In fact, we made a video with uh, the Bronco Nation. If I can find it or dig it up, I'll make sure that I, I link it down below. Uh, but there, you absolutely, on all big Broncos, not Bronco Sports, but but these kinds of Broncos, uh, you can what they call four wheel tow or you know flat tow or four wheel down tow, whatever you want to call it. But basically, there is a process that you can go and put this vehicle in uh, to. Um, uh, into uh, flat toe mode. Now I will tell you before you make a buying decision on that recommendation, please double check my information to make sure that nothing has changed. Will the Bronco come with a V8 in the future? No. That's my, uh, that's the quick answer. That's my best guess. Um, here's why I say that. Hennessy Performance, everybody's heard of them. Uh, great company, have no issues with them. Uh, but they were originally showing like, oh, here's a rendering of our V8 Bronco. And then all of a sudden it quietly disappeared. I don't know exactly why, but I'm assuming, and from what I've heard, is that a 5.0 physically can't fit underneath the hood of this thing. Time will tell. Uh, maybe somebody will surprise us with uh, a V8 Bronco aftermarket conversion. Um, at SEMA show, but uh, I seriously doubt that there will be a V8 Bronco. And I, I do believe that this performance variant, uh, the Raptor Bronco, I am guessing that that is probably going to be a 3.0 liter V6 EcoBoost, or it might even be a 3.5 EcoBoost, but it's going to be one of those two. I seriously doubt it'll be a V8, even though we all want one. What is the gas mileage? If you have to ask, don't buy it. <laughs> Uh, that's a great question. Uh, so let's take a look at this is a base model. 
Uh, this particular base model does have the upgraded 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6 motor in it. Uh, and as you can see, it does have the Sasquatch. And with the Sasquatch, it brings you down to 17 miles per gallon on the city and the highway. And by the way, this is the worst configuration for fuel economy. So uh, this is the worst, fuel, this is kind of a worst case scenario, 17 miles per gallon in the city, 17 miles per gallon on the highway. So. That's, that's a good question, but uh, I don't remember what all the fuel economies are. I don't have those memorized off the top of my head, uh, but every Bronco window sticker you take a look at, uh, and also I think it's available on Ford.com, you can tell exactly what that fuel economy is. All right, what you got? How much can you tow with a Bronco? I believe it's 3,500 pounds off the top of my head. Once again, I didn't really prepare for this video. <laughs> so, so if I'm wrong, roast me in the comments, but I do believe it's 3,500 pounds um, with or without the towing capability. So you can add the towing capability after the fact with the, the hitch and the wiring. By the way, adding that wiring after the fact is a pain in the butt. So if you've got to have the wiring and you don't want to pay through the nose for the labor to get the wiring ran, it can be done. It's just a pain in the butt. But if you, if you don't want to pay through the nose, then make sure you get the towing capability uh, from the factory. The only downside is, is towing capability is one of those commodity, commodities that could potentially cause delays for the build. So just think about it really twice how bad you need it before you put it on the options. Okay, last question. Whose Bronco is out front of the dealership and can I get one just like it? <laughs> that, that would be mine. <laughs> I almost feel like someone is uh, just trying to do me lip service there. I don't, I don't know. I, it, yes, I, I, it's my Bronco. It's the white Bronco. It's got TC Customs down the side. We've made, I think, 10 videos already on that specific Bronco. So uh, I, if I've got a playlist, I'll link those down below so you can watch all of those, the build process and things like that. And by the way, um, have some pretty big news that we're not quite ready to share on that Bronco just yet. So just make sure you stay tuned because some, some big changes fixing to happen to the channel. Uh, and leave some comments down below what you think those changes are. So I cannot wait to share those with you, but I can't share them today, unfortunately. So that's the last question? Yeah. Okay. But you have to say, they can get a Bronco just like it. TC Customs can do that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You can absolutely get a Bronco just like that. Um, and you guys, you know I can't do a video without saying this. I'm six foot three and have a great day. Peace. <laughs>